I'm here to teach you how to take photos of yourself while you're traveling alone. This is my camera, I love her, and she's been through a lot. We've been through a lot together. We've taken a lot of photos while traveling, just the two of us, and we are going to show you how to do that today. For those of you who don't know, I am living in London for three months by myself. So in addition to this trip and other trips, I have a lot of experience doing travel photography of myself by myself. Yesterday, I went to the White Cliffs of Dover. I did a little day tour and I got some really, really good photos of me at the cliffs. So here are some tips that I realized I wanted all of you guys to have so that you guys can have amazing travel photography even when you're on trips by yourself. However, even if you're not traveling, if you're just at home working on a creative project or just out and about in your town that you love, you can still use these tips to take photos of yourself. You don't have to necessarily be traveling. I use a lot of these tips day to day creating in my apartment. Tip number one, use an app for your camera or a remote, which are really inexpensive on Amazon. I shoot with a Canon 6D and that allows me to use the Canon app. My camera has a Wi-Fi feature, which allows my phone to connect to my camera wirelessly, no matter where I am, no matter if I have Wi-Fi access to anything else. And I am able to look at the photos on my camera, on my phone. I'm able to see what I look like on camera, on my phone, and I'm able to trigger the shutter of my camera from my phone, as well as change some settings. So it's really, really amazing. Now, if you don't have a camera that has Wi-Fi or you don't have a camera that has an app associated with it, you can get a really inexpensive remote from Amazon. I will link some for you or just search camera remotes or you can just turn on the timer setting on your camera that's just a little time consuming and a little bit annoying because you have to run back and forth to wherever you are for your photo to your camera it takes a long time it's not the best which is why I love 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 the Canon app all right hi <laughs> this is how I get my photos when I am traveling alone um, I have my camera set up on a bench and I have my Canon app and I can snap these pictures and I have it on a two second timer as seen here and I can adjust all the settings from here too and it's literally amazing not as good as having like a photographer with you but you can still get prime shots tip number two while you're traveling or just at home get creative about where you put your camera if you don't have a tripod don't let that keep you from taking photos because I've learned you can put your camera literally anywhere. At least I do that. I'm not liable for anything that happens to your camera. I'm not telling you what to do with your camera. I'm just telling you what I do. For instance, yesterday at Dover, I put my camera in a tree. This is where I put my camera. All right, so you just saw my camera fall out of the tree. It's fine. We're fine. I got photos out of it, so. on rocks it fell out it wasn't great but it still works and I got really really beautiful photos that a lot of people have already commented on you can put them in less high-risk places like I use benches a lot trees stumps instead of branches rocks whatever I will also use things like my coat or a backpack to angle the camera in the correct direction or to give it some height literally I use anything that I have on hand and it's usually enough I usually always get the shot I do have a travel tripod that's really hard to say I will link it in the description below for you I throw it in my carry-on it takes up virtually no space it's really easy to use I just don't love taking it out while I'm being a tourist it's just another thing to carry but I do bring it with me and will use it for shots around my neighborhood wherever I'm traveling my next tip is to give yourself time it is a lot more time consuming to take photos of yourself while you're traveling than it is to have someone look at you and snap a photo so don't be discouraged if it takes you a little while i was given either 30 minutes or two hours at this site at dover and i chose two hours one because it's beautiful and two because i knew there was no way i was going to get any photos in 30 minutes it just wasn't going to happen and i've been doing this for a long time so give yourself the margin of time to get the shots that you want another tip is to make sure you have batteries so using the app on your phone will suck your phone battery. So I always bring an external charging pack with me when I know I'm gonna be out shooting this way for the day. Using the app will also use a lot of your camera battery. So I always bring extra camera batteries with me no matter where I'm going. My final tip is, and everyone's gonna hate this because everyone hates doing this, is to just ask strangers 
around you to take your photo. It's totally fine, no one has ever said no, and the worst that happens is you get some crappy photos out of it that don't look good. But there are some ways to avoid that. Personally, when I'm looking for someone to take my photo, I look for a very specific kind of person. I look, I actually look for a very specific type of people. I look for a pack of cute girls who are well-dressed, who are in their 20s, and who are all taking photos of each other. And then what I do is I kind of hover around the area, and when they all have their photos, because they're in a good mood, because they've got cute photos of themselves now, I ask them to take my photo and they always say yes and they always greet me like I'm their long lost fifth best friend and like this happened to me yesterday and this girl did this whole little photo shoot of me for me it was really really cute she was not a photographer she was just a stranger that I asked and we connected over our cute outfits and it was fabulous also going back to the time consuming thing don't be afraid if a stranger takes some crappy photos photos of you at one spot just say thank you, hang out there, let them move on, and wait for a new set of unsuspecting strangers to walk over and ask them to take your photo. And then you have a second chance. Those are all my tips that I have for you today. They change the game when you are traveling alone and still wanna have photos for your Instagram feed. But nothing will help you like practice. So practice and don't get discouraged if you are traveling and you try some of these tips and they don't work right away. It's okay, practice, and I promise, 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 you will get to a point where this comes second nature to you. I wanna leave you with the thought that pics or it didn't happen is not a thing, okay? You can have moments that give you social clout, and you can have beautiful, purposeful moments that you remember forever, even if you don't take a photo of them. But let's keep it real. We all want those photos while we're traveling to put on our Instagram feeds. It's just who we are and that's totally fine and hopefully this helps you find a balance of both. Thank you so, so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram. I reply to all of my messages. You can take a look at my photos. I take a majority of my photos of myself by myself. I would love to connect with you on there and see what you're creating as well. Bye friends.